Hey guys, what's up? My name is Justin Mark, back with a new video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about getting out of negativity. Now, think about this, right? A lot of times in life, you get caught up in negative thought processes, negative mental cycles, feeling negative, and because something went shitty, something didn't go according to plan, everything's shitty. All of a sudden, your life is shitty, your job is shitty, everything you feel is just shit emotions, you start spreading that. And maybe you, you end up talking to someone, you're negative to them. Maybe someone cuts you off in traffic and you give them the finger. And now you're an aggressive driver. Now uh, you're walking down the street, just spreading negative energy. The other day, I was on a platform called Omegle and I was just talking to random people just for fun, literally just to spread positivity. And some kids started swearing at me. And I actually explained to him how spreading negativity is actually really toxic for you. It's not toxic for the other person. It's toxic for the person spreading it. Because imagine this, right? Uh, there, there's actually an old story with the Buddha where a man comes to the Buddha to try to like fight him and talk shit and he, he's saying like, what's this shit you got my family doing? My family just sits around meditating all day and like I'm losing my family and this guy wanted to like fight the Buddha, right? And the Buddha is like, hey, let me ask you a question. If you brought me a gift to my house and I didn't want it, who owns that gift? And the man was like, me. And the Buddha was like, look, you brought this negativity to me and I don't fucking want it. It's yours, it's yours, you keep it, right? And so how do you get into this mindset, this process of keeping negativity away? So that way your relationships are good. That way your family dynamic is good. That way everything's falling into place. How do you stay in this delusional state of positivity and good emotions all the time? So that way you can crush with business, make money, uh, let's say you have a job in sales or something where you have to use your emotions and your vibe in order to make money. Or maybe you just want to go out and meet lots of hot girls in the club, in the bar, or go on lots of dates with pretty girls. Well, how do you stay in a mindset where you're really positive and spreading positivity, not negativity? Well, there's five ways we can actually do that right now to get out of negativity and fall into amazing positivity, amazing abundance, and positivity of emotions. So let's just jump straight in. So number one is silence and meditation. If you actually practice silence and meditation, what's gonna happen to your life is you're gonna notice that you're gonna get a lot more in touch with yourself. And oftentimes you're gonna realize that your negativity is coming from unresolved issues in your life. This could be financial issues, it could be relationship issues, it could be family issues, it could just be some fucked up shit from your childhood, some traumatic issue that happened back in the day that's causing you to continue spreading negativity and bad energy. So through being silent and spending time alone and also practicing meditation, you can grow into someone who is positive and you can let go of these old thought processes that are holding you back. What meditation actually does is it creates new pathways in your brain. So now all of a sudden you're actually thinking different and it's pretty powerful uh, over the course of months and years. Now, don't even trust me, me and what I say, just try it. Try 20 minutes of meditation per day for the next two months. It's actually scientifically proven. If you do 20 minutes of meditation per day over eight weeks, which is two months, 60 days, right? 60 days of meditation, 20 minutes a day, force yourself to do that habit. Okay, what's gonna happen is your brain literally rewires itself. You're literally creating new neural pathways in your brain. You're actually becoming more intelligent. And what's even crazier than that is you're gonna notice your life kind of changes. Now, you won't even notice, you might not even notice your life changing, but what you will notice is if you stop meditating, things are gonna start falling apart. You're gonna start feeling a lot more negative, a, lot, a little bit crazier. I remember when I first started meditation back in 2014 or so, uh, I remember doing a two month of meditation challenge. I did it every day for 20 minutes. I didn't see any benefit. I was like, what, what is the point of this? So I stopped and here's what happened next. I noticed that I started feeling a little bit crazy. I started feeling really angry, negative all the time. And I realized that the reason I was feeling that way is because I stopped meditation. So it's crazy how your life will change for the better and you won't even fucking realize how amazing things are until you stop and you stop having that added benefit. Right? It's really subtle and very weird how that works. So 20 minutes of meditation a day is incredibly, incredibly powerful. So meditation is such a powerful thing and it goes really hand in hand with step number two, which is cultivating gratitude, being grateful. 
okay? So first of all, you wanna meditate, right? You wanna get into that mindset and a habit of meditation every day. If you don't know how to meditate, just go on YouTube. There's tons of guided meditations. There's tons of meditation music you can just kind of be mindful to, right? And then there's practicing gratitude. So gratitude helps you break cycles of inactivity, where as if you're feeling negative, you can actually reframe it in your brain right now. You can just think about five reasons you're grateful right now. Just think about five reasons you're grateful. I'm grateful because I get to put out awesome content that I'm passionate about to you guys. I'm grateful that I you know, wake up healthy every single day. I'm grateful for all the opportunities that the world presents itself to me. I'm grateful for the amazing experiences in life I've had that allow me to share this wisdom and knowledge and experience with other people. And I'm also grateful for being able to deeply impact people on such a core fucking level with uh, my knowledge and experiences and also being able to learn from the people I help, okay? So those are five random things that just came off of the top of my head of why I'm grateful. And I immediately feel more positive. What's even crazier is if you're feeling sad, down, negative, being grateful is so fucking powerful. So back in 2016, I was assaulted. Some guy tried to kill me. This dude was beating the shit out of me and put me in a wheelchair. I had a broken foot. My neck was fucked up. I couldn't move my neck or my face. Like my, my face was all puffed up and bruised. I bruised all over my body. The guy got arrested. Uh, I'm pretty sure he went to jail and I got a lawyer settlement from it. I got a fat paycheck, okay? And it was pretty insane thing to go through. And it was crazy because the next day I went to Cuba and I was in Veradero, Cuba. My friends are going to the beach and I'm in the hotel room with a broken foot. My friends are going out to party and I'm in the wheelchair in the club. And it was even the point where my friends are going like scuba diving and snorkeling and doing all this cool touristy shit and I'm just stuck at home in the hotel room. It was a really fucking sad thing. And I just felt so much negativity until I just had a fucking breakthrough. I just, I, it's almost like when you go through so fucking much that you just, you have no other choice but to let it go and let it go. And I was like rewarded with delusionally amazing positive experiences. Uh, not only did I have a great time in Cuba, met tons of beautiful girls while I was in a wheelchair, went clubbing, it was the life of the party while in a wheelchair, came back to my home city of Toronto, was partying, meeting gorgeous women, going crazy, partying with friends, just having a great fucking time, right? And the reason was because I was able to actually shift my perspective from saying, I'm so fucking sad. I'm so upset that I'm in a wheelchair to actually feeling positive that, oh my God, I have so many amazing friends who are so supportive of me and my injury. Wow, my family, my father is so nice, right? My little brother wheeling me up the street to, to the bus station so I could take a bus, right? I go, get on public transit and people are just nice to me. People get out of my way. People hold doors open to me. People are smiling at me. Everyone's so nice to me because I'm in a wheelchair. It got to the point where when my leg had healed, I didn't want to get out of the wheelchair. The wheelchair became my comfort zone. And I was so grateful for the life and the people and everything I had around me. And it was so amazing. So by cultivating gratitude, I noticed such a shift in my life, in my experiences, in the quality of the people around me, and just my life in general. And what's crazy is when you're actually grateful for your life, you're gonna get more of that in return. It's almost like it's woo-woo metaphysical thing, but also a logical one, where it's like almost like in a weird way, the universe rewards you with all these positive experiences. But further than that, you're, you on a logical level are now attracting that because you're actually going out to seek positive experiences. It's really fucking cool because you're thinking, I'm very grateful. Uh, so now your, your brain, it has something called the prefrontal cortex, which essentially means uh, the thing that you wanna focus on the most is always what you're gonna be focusing on. So if you're thinking, I wanna make a lot of money, you're focusing on making a lot of money. But if you're always thinking, my life is shit, I'm negative, I'm sad, you're only gonna attract more of that, right? So by being grateful, by being positive and thinking how amazing your life is, you're only gonna attract more of those experiences to you. So the third step is avoiding negativity. You wanna cut out anything that's causing you to experience negativity. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about negative emotions. I'm not talking about you know eating your vegetables because you don't like it. I'm not talking about going to the gym because it makes you feel bad about yourself. I'm talking about people who are toxic, who talk shit, gossip, and bring you down, cut them out. I'm talking about people who are acting up, acting crazy, drama, and bad energy. Kind of distance yourself from them, okay? And you wanna make sure that you're constantly around positive experiences. So it's not just avoiding negative people, but it's about, about being around positive people as well. But then even the media you put in, like are you listening to Fox News or CNN or you know drama on the internet and stuff like that? Or are you feeding your brain with you know motivational speeches? 
positive influences, things that actually will bring you up. So what this actually means for you is you want to be around positivity and avoid negativity. It's really important to avoid anything that mentally or emotionally makes you uh, long-term fall back into those cycles of avoiding, uh, of being in negativity. You wanna avoid them completely, right? So avoid negativity so you can stay in this mental delusion of positive experiences. The third step is use positive affirmations. So what I've been doing for myself for years is creating affirmations audios. So essentially what I've been doing is telling myself that the things I wanna work on, I'm already great at. So here's a good example of this. I create an affirmations audio for myself where I say, hey, Justin Mark, you're awesome. You're breathtaking. All these cool things about myself. I'm actually gonna play it for you guys in a moment, okay? Uh, it's very basic. I am Justin Mark. I am very successful at social media and influencing people on a core level. I'm constantly viewed in a very positive light by millions of people on social media and television. I'm incredibly successful at business and investing, generating hundreds of thousands of dollars each month. I have multiple streams of revenue that come to me. So I hope this makes sense. So essentially everything I want to work on, I'm going to affirm it and wire that into my brain. So here's a good example of this. Justin Mark, you're so great at investing. You're so great at content creation. You have the ability to impact people very deeply and change people's lives. So whatever it is you want to work on, maybe you want to get better with women. So you're going to tell yourself, women are attracted to me everywhere I go from my demeanor, my body language, my communication, and the way I present myself to the world. Uh, maybe you want to make more money. So you'll say, my brain is able to pick up on opportunities every single day and that presents itself financially and monetarily because I'm always learning new high income skills and I'm always able to generate more revenue through the energy I put out into the world. So by saying this to yourself every single day, you're going to become this person. You're gonna trick your brain. Again, this prefrontal cortex part of your brain, it's called the reticular activation system. It's essentially the part of your brain, the frontal lobe that is used for decision-making and cognitive function. It's now going to be aware of where these uh, opportunities are presenting themselves subconsciously because a lot of people think they're in control, but actually your subconscious is in control. And once you can get control of your subconscious, your entire life changes. So in the last few months, I've been doing these affirmations for myself. And what I found is my money has gone way the fuck up. My net worth has increased by 25% or so. Actually, even a little bit more than that, right? I've gone in, into investing because that was one thing I wanted to affirm. I said, you're really good at investing. And I got really into uh, all kinds of different investment ventures and they've all been insanely successful almost immediately to the point where it's like i don't have to work anymore so the reason i put out this content is just for fun and to help more people it's awesome right and so it's amazing how when you actually constantly affirm what you want to achieve or the life you want to live or the experience you want to have wanting to travel the world, want to meet beautiful people, have amazing friendships, have a great family dynamic, meet beautiful women, have amazing f people around you, uh, hang out with celebrities, hang out with the best fucking people, meet the most gorgeous girls, have amazing quantity and quality of intimate experiences. Whatever the fuck it is you want to achieve, write it down and tell it to yourself every single day for 10 minutes a day. So what I did is I created a two minute audio where I play back to myself while I'm in the shower every morning, or you can just write it down and tell it to yourself every morning in the mirror. And as you're affirming these beliefs into yourself, you're gonna become that person over a long period of time. And the last step is practice impeccable speech. Now, this does mean not swearing. And guys, my freaking bad mother <laughs> I swear a lot, right? But more than just swearing is practice educated language patterns and actually practice public speaking. Because when you can actually communicate effectively and communicate who you are and the way your brain works to the world, it's gonna blow your fucking mind, okay? I was actually just talking to this gorgeous girl from Tinder. We have plans for next weekend. And she's gonna come to see me in my city from another city. And she actually pointed out what a great communicator I was. Because I practice impeccable speech and high level communication, I'm able to attract tons of amazing people to me, whether that be beautiful women, amazing friends, cool influencers who want to be my friend. A lot of my best friends are like awesome influencers or millionaires or just really high level people, actors, right? My ex-girlfriend uh, from Mexico was a famous Latina actress, right? Uh, a lot of my friends are just like millionaire entrepreneurs or the top dating coaches or life coaches in the world, right? And why is that? So listen to what this girl had to say. You're definitely making me 
So I was like flirting with her a little bit. And then uh, she said, you're a really good talker, by the way. Sounds like you could be a public speaker, right? And so it's funny how she pointed this out and the way you communicate to others when you have refined speech patterns and effective communication and that also presents itself in your body language, man, you're only gonna be attracting the best of the best. And it's crazy how online, I get this awesome compliment from women all the time. Wow, you're such a good speaker. Wow, you're so good at communicating. And it's so funny how I'm like on Tinder and I'll get these girls on Instagram, I'll send them a voice message and they'll kind of just mention that I'm really good at speaking. And the reason for that is because I practice impeccable speech. I practice high level communication skills and over years and years I've built that up and so it keeps me attracting only high quality people to me. So guys, I hope this makes sense. You wanna avoid a life of negativity. You wanna avoid negative thought loops and you wanna stay in a state of awesome positivity and abundance. Now guys, my name is Justin Mark. If you ever have any questions, you can always message me on my social media at drunkjustin2 on Instagram or any of my social medias linked at the bottom of the screen or links in the description. And if you wanna make sure that you have an amazing life and you're constantly filling yourself with the positive influences, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, Justin Mark on YouTube, and we'll be sure to give you the best of the best material so that you can learn to live an amazing life for yourself. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video for the YouTube algorithm so more people get to see this video and to spread more positivity into the world. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I love chatting with you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So keep in touch with me. Feel free to message me on social media, message me on Instagram. I reply to almost every single message as long as you communicate effectively as well and as long as you're a positive person as well. So thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon and we'll see you in the next video.